when the war broke out, uh, my father-in-law, he was a Polish Jew, and he ran away to the Soviet Union. His father said, no, it can't be so bad. It will be only the Germans, they're very cultured. It's not the Russians. But he ran away anyway to the Soviet Union. And he was lucky he could join the Red Army. There he met his future wife, who was a Russian woman, who was a truck driver in the army. And it took him 17 years before he could return to his beloved Poland. He came back to Warsaw, but his family, all of them were gone, and his house and his home, everything. So he decided to settle in another city called Wrocław. That was Germany before the war, Breslau until 1945, and became Poland again in 1945. Today, a Polish city with 700,000 people. He became a famous mathematician, a professor in the town, and later his son was active in the opposition and also in solidarity, was imprisoned. And because of such men, and his father also joined the opposition, and I say because of such men, we have another Europe today. But then in 1989, what did really the young Poles know then about the Jewish heritage in Poland? Well, wherever you walked, you could see, you could cross, come, ac come across a, a Jewish gravestone or a synagogue. And now even some of them have been renovated, like the White Stork Synagogue in Wrocław, that I invite you all to come and see. Mm -hmm. Even with the help of Norwegian money, they will get. <laughs> and we're very happy for that. Some are now f work functioning as culture houses and a few maybe synagogues. But the truth is, people don't know very much about the Jews. The first concerts that I had in Poland uh, after communism fell, I got letters where they said, We know a lo lot about the Inca culture. In, in South America, but we don't know very much about the Jews. I'm very happy that all this is changing, has been changing, and the culmination of all of this is this new museum, and I want to thank everybody who is working here and has done this fantastic museum. But finally, I always look in the music, and everybody in Poland, they know a song about Rebecca, about a, a Jewish girl who sits in a small shtetl, and she's dreaming about his, this man who will come one day and take her away from this misery, and she will be a bride, and she, he will take her to her, his castle, and the whole little shtetl will admire her. Well, the truth is that this song was written in the 30s, and it was not yet written in Yiddish. It was written in Polish, and then later translated into Yiddish. Oh, you're the 
że białe miasteczko za tobą ktoś wypłakał z oczy że biedna bubeka w sam wyśle nie czeka, aż przyjedziesz po nią sam i zabierzesz ją jako żonę swą em do pałacu bram. Ten krzyk, ten gwałt, ten cud, ja sobie wyobrażam, Boże mój, na rynku cały lud i na mnie poszczepiały weselny strój. Mój wymarzony, oj, mój wytęsknony, czy to to, znaczy jak ja. Ja jestem biedna i to mój sen, co całe życie trwa. Oj, mój noskie trachty, oj, mój noskie tachty, z jej stachty i chętniszki wyjdź. A syn na klęczkę dla mej dłodna, pierwszy chłopski wyjdź. A za biedne rybki i nur trachnki w gęzungien, warto w nich mań szac. A z do sądzy wien, a z wyjdź. Noch der goldene Ballad, der Schrei, der Blas, der Blas, ich bin so schwer auf dem Boden. Oh Gott, der Jung, oh ja, sie sind mir, oh ich bin Platz, bin doch getan in weiß, sie mit mir bist du. Oh, wenn das gedacht, oh, wenn das gedacht, soll dir sein, war mir nicht wahr. Ich bin ein neuer Mensch in meinem Leben, und wenn sich die Träumen von Let's see you in the sleepers' land.